Imagine my surprise when I woke up to see that people are going batshit crazy over the release of the Chainsaw Man trailer to such an extent that apparently it even gotten more attention than the trailer for the final season of Attack on Titan. Now I personally don't really understand all the hype for it though. Yeah I finished the manga and all but I can say that you get literally no enjoyment out of this series at all. It's bloody, brutal, you only suffer and get an abundance of sorrow as the story progresses, leaving you crying on the floor, questioning your life choices. So yeah, when's the anime adaptation coming up? But in all seriousness, I think that Chainsaw Man has one hell of a story and it definitely isn't like any shonen you've ever seen. It's not an understatement to say that this is an extremely unconventional story that thrives in its unexpectedness. It takes you for twists and turns in its plot and characterization, but most importantly is its subversion of the shonen tropes we are used to seeing. It's a story that sounds dumb as hell with a protagonist who acts dumb as hell and has a goal that is also literally dumb as hell just to touch some boobies. But it's undeniable that it's very entertaining and we have Tatsuki Fujimoto to thank for that, the guy who created Fire Punch, another well-known title. So at the core of Chainsaw Man is the main protagonist Denji, a destitute and highly impoverished teen who struggles every day to survive while trying to pay off the insane amount of debt to the Yakuza that was left behind by his late father. However, he would later encounter a devil that isn't looking too good himself and they make a deal to help each other out. Now with Puchita, his pet chainsaw devil at his side, he decides to hunt devils, cut down trees and even selling his own body parts. Like the guy literally sold one of his nuts just to pay off of his father's death. Yeah, Denji has a tragic life but it isn't meaningless because unlike many shonen protagonists, his tragic past is not a set piece to merely establish the hows and whys. Even after being left for dead and acquiring his new powers, he remembers the horrible stuff that he has experienced and learns from it, which makes it infinitely more realistic than the usual goody two shoe shonen protagonist that we normally see. However, his life of tragedy doesn't exist just to make him easier to feel pity or root for. It's a fundamental component of who he is as well as making it feel like an accurate real-world representation of how trauma affects people, especially childhood trauma. Just by looking at every single one of his goals, like to eat good food, to have a friend to play video games with, to touch a girl's boobs, or to have sex with a girl is just a reflection of the loneliness and isolation he grew up with. I would say Denji is just a blunt and simple guy. Even when he joins the public safety devil hunters, he doesn't do it out of some higher mission like saving the world or something like that. I mean he only did it because he was given a choice of either being killed as a devil or live as a human and work with them. Of course he chose the latter because the only thing he wants are safety, a home and a person who cares about him. That to me is why Denji makes Chainsaw Man so compelling because he's basically just a huge fuck you to most shonen protagonists out there and it's so refreshing to see. And it's because of this subversion to everything that help adds to the already unique world of Chainsaw Man. The devils that humanity faces don't feel superficial and it's easy to understand. The devils are spawned from humanity's fear that makes the possibilities of different devils appearing endless. From things like swords, sharks, guns, leeches, dolls, bombs, if you can think of it, there's probably gonna be a devil like that. It's honestly such an immersive world where anything can happen and it often hammers in the fact that human life is a truly fragile thing and that plot armor is hard to find in Chainsaw Man. Why? Because just like Game of Thrones, characters literally die left and right. Will your favorite character survive to the end? Chances are probably not, but that's just the nature of the story and most of the deaths serve to further the overall plot and despite all the death, somehow Fujimoto is able to avoid exhausting people with the constant death because there's impact to it. And like I said, Chainsaw Man excels in its unexpectedness and the only thing that you can predict is that you can't fucking predict a single thing that will happen. It throws all the typical conventions out the window and I would say it's the best representation of the word chaos while it's filled with some of the most intense and detailed manga panels I've ever seen. With many gory fight scenes and eye grabbing panels, having different angles and layouts in an attempt to emulate the cinematography of animated movies, each one of them somehow able 
Bird to push the limit and take advantage of all the perks of the medium and does it so goddamn beautifully. This is why I can't help but think that it would be very difficult to give it the adaptation it deserves. But after seeing the trailer for Mappa, I finally understood why people went crazy because it just looks so freaking gorgeous. It looks so goddamn clean and almost looks like something out of an anime movie. Although I have to say that sometimes trailers can be deceiving so we just have to hope that Mappa won't disappoint us. But anyways, I definitely understand the hype behind Chainsaw Man because it isn't just some normal manga. It has such a unique way of twisting the genre and compelling storytelling. It's only natural that the fans would be so passionate and expressive about it. You can tell people really love this series and they are acting like the anime will be the next best thing since sliced bread but are fans just overhyping it? Well, I personally don't think so but at the same time, I can't say that Chainsaw Man is for everyone because the story does not hold back and in a way it's sometimes a little too crazy. It doesn't take itself too seriously and it's an insane mixture of horrifying bloody gore packed with some of the most messed up cynical comedy I've seen in any shonen jump titles. It relishes in putting the characters through the worst shit and showing it off in the most ironic punchline ever. So if you are one of the people who understand and is able to accept what the series represents, then you are in for a wild ride because the series is created to be the purest, most primal and raw form of entertainment. But of course, beyond the blood, guts, gore and sexual themes, Chainsaw Man is at its core a story about trauma, how it can change and shape a person in a way that can be erased but can be at least dealt with. And not just that, the panels and scenes are always so impactful and mesmerizing to look at and even the characters don't feel like background characters that's static. They feel and behave like real humans that all just have something they are fighting for. If Chainsaw Man is adapted correctly, and if it's nearly as good if not better than what we saw in the trailer and they managed to capture the beauty of the manga, then the series will definitely have the chance to be either the next Attack on Titan or flop very hard. Now, I wouldn't go as far as to call it a deconstruction of the shonen genre but I can at least wholeheartedly say that Chainsaw Man is a breath of fresh air and it would be an incredible experience that you will definitely enjoy. Now with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe I might have over exaggerated about how good it is but hey, for me it really is that good. So if you are a fan of Chainsaw Man or at least heard about it, are you hyped for the anime as well or what are your thoughts about it overall? Don't hesitate to comment down below and as always, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more anime content and giving the video a like would help a lot too. Feel free to check out my video on Mushoku Tensei, the grandfather of Isekais and how 86 is the mecha anime we needed. Thanks for watching and as always, Stay safe everyone.